after weeks of speculation, we finally have our first official Horror Nights Maze announcement for the 2022 season. Tune in as we break down all the gory details. Hello and welcome back to The Haunt Line, the show dedicated to SoCal haunts and events. We're excited to report that our first official Horror Nights maze is another by coastal Universal Monsters creation, much like last season's The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Although the scenic design of each maze was pretty different, both mazes in Orlando and Hollywood shared a storyline in which The Bride of Frankenstein desperately tried to revive Frankenstein's monster by any means necessary, including fighting off and capturing the Brides of Dracula. So, this year, both coasts will bring us Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Uh, I'm telling you, you missed out. I'll come out next time, but I'll see you later on tonight. Just text me. Bye. Universal Monsters Legends Collide, only at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. The description of the maze on the website reads, If you thought one Universal Monster was scary, how about three? Better summon your Scream Squad, because you're about to get caught in the middle of an epic battle between the Wolfman, Dracula, and the Mummy together for the first time ever. Their mission, to find the amulet that will break their curse, and they'll destroy anyone who gets in their way. Now let me tell you, I love this concept, and I'm so excited to see these monsters faced off against each other. I also love that people seem very excited to have the Universal Monsters back at Horror Nights. And you know, it, it only seems right that they have a home at Horror Nights, since they basically helped make Universal Studios what it is today. This reveal trailer is super well made and it appears to have been shot in Orlando. If you look closely, some of the movie posters featured in the trailer are for movies from HHN 28's Slaughter Cinema, a fan favorite maze from 2018. And yo, Universal, uh, release these monster posters as merch, please, because let me tell you, I would buy them so fast. Even if you just slap them on a t-shirt, the artwork is really, really cool. And speaking of which, uh, official Horror Nights preview merch featuring all three monsters is available at the CityWalk here in Hollywood. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this marks the first time Hollywood has ever released Horror Nights merch ahead of the event's opening. This makes me hope that we'll soon be getting a Horror Nights tribute store here in Hollywood, because the tribute stores in Orlando have been a huge hit since they started doing them, and the teams behind them really go all out. In fact, the Horror Nights website mentions that merch will be available both in the park and in the City Walk. And as of this week, Production Central in the City Walk has been closed and is undergoing some sort of refurbishment. This has me thinking that it could either be Super Nintendo World related, or perhaps, and hopefully, it'll be the future home to Hollywood's first Horror Nights tribute store. Thanks to Horror Nights creative director, John Murdy, we have a few more details about Legends Collide via Twitter. First, we know that Slash will be scoring our version of the maze, making this the fifth score he has worked on for the event. I'm really hoping Horror Nights will sell these scores as a compilation one day, because let me tell you, I'd also buy the shit out of that. We also know that each coast version will be similar, 
but different enough to be a continuation of the story, almost like a two-part maze experience. Which is even more reason to visit both coasts if you haven't done so already. Murdy also explained that the warehouse facade is inspired by warehouses in the old Limehouse district and that this journey will take us to different locations all throughout London. In response to how this bi-coastal collab came about, Murdy stated that he was working on a Dracula vs. Mummy storyline, while Orlando just so happened to be working on a Mummy vs. Wolfman concept, so they decided to join forces and bring all three monsters together in one maze. And finally, John teased that we may see some fun new effects in this maze, which is always exciting to hear. This maze will be located on the lower lot behind the Revenge of the Mummy, which housed Texas Chainsaw Massacre last year and Killer Clowns from Outer Space in 2019. The maze facade has had more detail work done to it since our last visit, now displaying the name Alucard Trading Company across the top of the warehouse facade. Alucard is, of course, Dracula spelled backwards, a fun little Easter egg that may or may not tie into the story. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I love that this facade is one of several huge, highly detailed facades going up in the park, like the two we can see behind the Curious George parking lot and the one in the Parisian courtyard, which is pretty obviously the returning La Llorona maze. Also, on our last visit, we couldn't help but notice that construction walls have gone up at the Waterworld queue, which is rumored to be a Candyman maze, at least according to the latest HN Nightmares speculation map. It's also interesting to note that Horror Nights Hollywood has confirmed that there will be eight mazes total for 2022, something else that the speculation map predicted. There's no visible maze construction on the back lot at all, so I think it's safe to say we may actually get three mazes on the lower lot and a new maze in the building which once housed the Walking Dead attraction. And finally, the rumored American werewolf in London maze is starting to look more and more like the Myers house, signaling that we may get another returning Halloween maze or a Halloween maze based off of the recent sequels which has a new iteration coming out later this year. I'm sure HN Nightmares will be releasing a new spec map soon, but either way, it's great to see that Horror Nights Hollywood is full steam ahead, and I'm excited to see what maze will be announced next. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of The Haunt Line. Our next episode will be our unreleased review of Halloween Horror Nights 2021, so I hope it's a nice trip down memory lane. Be sure and follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all the latest haunt news. Visit our website for links to all of our stuff and stay tuned for new podcast episodes, which will be released soon. Until the next time, thank you for calling The Haunt Line.